Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. So when we start today's journey, we are going to be starting at Flamstead in the parish of Hanover. We are heading to Ginger Hill, also in the parish of Hanover. So sit back, relax and drive with me. Now, we are coming out earlier than expected today because we have a breaking news story for you. Watch this. Okay. Somebody had a warm up car with the Hanover side on the weekend and then we got Christiana. But since we didn't hear Niggle, 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 in the morning. Niggle, watch out, Yako, watch out. And over, Bulls be, anyway, yeah, yeah, watch it, watch it, watch it. Kentucky, shine it down! Roll another. So the man you are seeing, he's popularly known as DJ Kentucky. And let me admit something to you. From now, DJ Kentucky, he's one of my favorite selectors. I used to play music and truth be told, I used to watch DJ Kentucky videos to try and master the craft. He's one of the best selectors in Jamaica and I say that without any fear of contradiction. It really, really saddens me that I am here telling you about DJ Kentucky being locked up and more so for this kind of offense dj kentucky his correct name is sean stewart on november 16 last year dj kentucky he celebrated his 46th birthday dj kentucky he's not no young boy he's living at rosemount in the parish of st james so let me tell you what the allegations are against dj kentucky and remember i tell you these are the allegations. I know that some of you, you know, you love running at the comment section and talking about fake news. These are the allegations. It is alleged that a young girl, she's only 13 years old, 1-3. She lives in the parish of St. James and she also attends a high school in the parish of St. James. It is said that this young girl, she has known DJ Kentucky for a while now. It is alleged that on Wednesday, January 18, the young girl, she asked DJ Kentucky for some money to assist her in buying a gift for her mother. It is further alleged that DJ Kentucky, he told her to come to his house at Rosemount for the money. The young girl, she went to the house. It is further alleged that while she was at the house, DJ Kentucky, he started asking her for you know what. It is alleged that the young girl, she refused and DJ Kentucky, he held her down, took off her pants and did you know what with her. It is alleged that when he was finished, he gave the young girl some money and told her to come into his vehicle. He then dropped her off in the town of Montego Bay. The young girl, she made a report to an adult and she was taken to the Freeport Police Station in Montego Bay where a report was filed. And let me say this, because we have a way of blaming the victim, and as much as I rate DJ Kentucky as a selector, I must say this. My information from a credible source is that this was the first sexual experience for this 13-year-old girl. Got that? So for those of you who go and come and say the pitney bad and this and that, that's not our information. So the police... They commenced investigation and DJ Kentucky, he was told that he was wanted by the cops. Yesterday, Thursday, January 19, 2023, about 10 o'clock in the morning, DJ Kentucky, he turned himself in to the police accompanied by his lawyer. A question and answer interview was done and DJ Kentucky, he was arrested and charged for sexually assaulting this 13-year-old girl you know <laughs> when i first learned about this incident before i knew how old the victim was i was thinking all kind of things but if the allegations are true dj kentucky really bro 13 years old bro 
She could have be your granddaughter, bro. Do you have any daughter, DJ Kentucky? If you do, how old is your daughter? So, DJ Kentucky, he's in police custody and he'll be going to the courts shortly. And mother, your man, you mother of this young girl, please ensure that you're not taking no talk from nobody. Ensure that your daughter go to court when the time come. And if anybody approach you with any foolishness, ensure that you inform the investigating officer. Because me not ask, people are going to approach you. Not take no talk from nobody. Boy, may I tell you. No, in this next incident, it took place yesterday afternoon. Thursday, January 19, 2023, about 5.30. It took place late yesterday afternoon. Thursday, January 19, 2023, about 5.30. It took place along the Mahogany Hall Main Road in the Stewart Town Police Area in the parish of Trelawney. We are learning that a team of police officers, they were carrying out a spot check along the main road. When they signaled a Mitsubishi pickup with the driver and two passengers in it to stop. The pickup, it was searched and bingo. One Taurus 9mm pistol affixed with a magazine containing 12 rounds of 9mm cartridges were found in the lining of the back of the pickup. The driver and the two passengers, they were taken into police custody in connection with this find. If and when we get any information that any of them are charged, we'll be updating this story. But Chilani police, enough respect. And you know what? I must say this. From the other day, I've been carrying some stories about Chilani. Deputy Superintendent Winston Milton and the team in Chilani, they are doing a wonderful job. But I need to ask a question. Why is it Mr. Milton is still a deputy superintendent of police? In era one, senior superintendents are in charge of Westmoreland and St. James. A full superintendent is in charge of Anova. If the hierarchy of the police force have so much confidence in Mr. Milton and put him in charge of the parish, why not promote him? You know something? These are the things that affect morale in any organization. And I am sure the police men and women in Trelawney, they are talking about this. The amount of work that DSP Milton and his team is doing, he more than deserve the full superintendent. Mr. Milton, enough respect to you and your team. So, let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to do it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also, hit on the notification bell, then click all, so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified. In the final story for today, the man on your screen, his name is Marvel Jr. Ellison, but he's popularly known as Junior Flax. He is 51 years old and he was a landscaper. Junior Flax, he lived at Jane Marks District in George's Plain in the parish of Westmoreland. Last night, I got those messages on your screen. They were from someone informing me about the incident involving Junior Flax. The first message said, Them just kill a man named Junior Flax from GP and GP, it is the short name for George's plane. The person went on at GP, him get about 15 shots. The person then closed off by saying, Heard it's about scamming his son and people money. So the sender is saying, He or she is hearing that it's about scamming money and Junior Flack's son. Now, I carried a story about his son on august 23 last year his son's name is brandon ellison he is 25 years old on monday august 22 2022 about 12 midday the westmoreland police they carried out a raid at a house at big bridge in the parish of westmoreland during a search of the living room at the house one black and chrome smith and wesson sw40v pistol 
a fix with a magazine containing 14 rounds of 0 0.40 cartridges were found. The three persons who were at the house at the time, they were arrested and charged by the police. They are one, Otis Curlew, he is 24 years old. Two, Samaya Bantan, she is 21 years old and she's a teacher. They both live at the house. And the third person was Brandon Ellison. He is 25 years old. Now, at the time, it was said that Brandon, he was visiting from Bronx in New York. All three persons, they were arrested and charged for illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. Like I said, Brandon is Junior Flock's son. Now, what we are learning is that Brandon, he was released from custody on Tuesday of this week. I'm not sure whether or not the case was finished or Brandon got bail, but last night, Thursday, January 19, 2023, about 10 o'clock, residents of the Jane Marks area of George's Plain, they heard a barrage of gunshots being fired. When the shooting subsided, they went to investigate. When they went and made checks, there was Junior Flax. He was lying on his back. He was dressed in a grey and white ganzi, a blue sweatpants with white stripes to the side and a grey and white socks. He was lying in a pool of blood. The police were called and when they went to the scene, they inspected Junior Flax. He had gunshot wounds to his left hand, his abdomen and his head. From all indication, Junior Flax died on the spot. So you would have seen the messages that the person sent me. The person said they heard it's about 15 shots. Well, when this crime scene was processed, 16 9mm spent shells and 11.40 spent shells, that's a combined total of 27 spent shells, were recovered from the scene. And I am sure that not all the spent shells were recovered because persons were on the scene taking photographs and video before the police arrived. We are told that Junior Flax, he was a hard-working man who did not deserve this. But, you know, the long time saying, can't catch Kwaku, the mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe and share. Quick silver sin If we just unite What a country this will be If we just unite Jamaica live in unity If we just unite What a country this will be If we just unite Jamaica live in unity hey. Cry with a mash up Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica me sweet Jamaica Jamaica, criminals them a mash up Jamaica, Jamaicans mash up Jamaica, oh Jamaica me sweet Jamaica, I could have some China real Jamaica, no problem no pain, good boy them no go to your team, but me want me country back, give me me country back, to the street and the lane, everybody them start complain, bloodshed what a shame what a shame, but me want me country back, give me me country back, cry with a mash up Jamaica, Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica Cry me to mash up Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica Jamaica, Jamaica, the land of the sun Jamaica become now the land of the gun East and north and south when me turn Country and town man a play blood a run Murder, don't you be me hear them a murder Jamaica, criminals them a mash up Jamaica, Jamaicans 